Christ, you are standing where history has been made. <laughs> this is the original theaters where they did the transplant. I'm fortunate enough, I, I had a heart transplant 17 years ago. So I'm one of those people that actually benefited from Chris's research and luckily and thankfully to a donor, um, here I am today. When people ask me what my favorite, favorite thing is that I work on, I say, without missing a heartbeat, the Heroes of Curtis Gear Project. There are the most incredible, incredible people working in this hospital. Here's a hospital with many medical experts who are leading in their fields in this country and internationally. Here's a hospital with a proud record of teaching and producing some of the finest doctors in this country. Dr. Christian Barnard and his team set out to do the impossible, fix a broken heart. He then removed the cross clamp from the aorta, allowing the warm oxygenated blood to infuse the transplanted heart, which immediately started to quiver with life. Chris said, it's going to work. What a privilege to experience such a fascinating working career. In about 2008, we did the first HIV-positive uh, disease donor kidney transplant to an HIV-positive recipient. Uh, pr Professor uh, Almi Muller was the surgeon. In the early 2000s, though, a Swedish company developed um, this device here. Uh, it's called an, a, a glycosorb ABO column. They've got either an A or the B antigen in the column, or both actually, and you can remove the antibodies that would cause rejection. The small bile is about four to eight meters long, depending on your height, and it's also quite tortuous. It's not a sort of a straight organ. It's not as straight as the large bowel, which is readily accessible. So they created longer scopes, longer and longer scopes. But this is the bit that goes into the patient. Don't worry, this is your <laughs> And so this young lady had a tumor behind the eye. It's now 18 months down the line and her cornea is looking pristine. She's maintained vision in that eye. And I remember the first three months where she told me for the first time she can feel her eyes itching. And I remember the story of the first heart transplant and how it inspired me to train here. So I wanna highlight our gender-based violence intervention and our catch-up surgery project. We hope to empower women who may, who may never have been given the chance to have been asked this question before to speak about the experiences, to seek help, and to break free from the cycle of violence. Fostering a world where safety, respect, and dignity are the right and foundation for all. Thank you. The trust um, and everyone that's helping us with fundraising is particularly important. And not important because Curtis Care Hospital is more important than any other hospital in the country or in the city but important because hospitals such as this anchor excellence and high quality care within the public sector. The Grotesgeer Hospital Trust. Help us change someone's story.